So Mrs. Heather Bell here wants to make a deal with me and then not pay me. So she thinks the job I did did not work very well and she wants to talk shit. So I told her that she doesn't have to worry about me and my sissy little magic because what I'm going to do to her is the same shit that I did to who she hired me to do and since it didn't work for them, I'm sure she has nothing to worry about. Either way, you tell me, bitch. Either you give me my money uh, or you don't. Either way, I don't give a shit no more. Well, I want to talk to you guys about fake spiritualists. Um, you know, this video which you just witnessed, you know, uh, watched, basically it is a short snippet that a alleged uh, Paulo Mayombe priest sent to a customer. You know, it's, you know, basically it's usually those, oh, I'm doing work for you, and the, if the customer is not satisfied, they should be able to leave and do it, you know, you know, choose to, you know, go their own direction. You know, it's not like the lady had to work, you know. I can understand situations where you send the work out to a client and the client holds on to it. And, you know, you you know, then they want to refund back, right? But they keep your work. I can understand your frustration in times like that. Okay. But when the client doesn't have anything of yours and you're supposed to be allegedly doing the work and they basically say, they, you know, it's not working and they want to leave on or move on. You know, you should allow clients to basically do things of that nature. You don't have to threaten them. You know, threaten clients is just more of a desperate means that desperate people do. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me explain something to you. If a client says they don't want to work with me anymore, okay, fine. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. You know, I'm not going to call you up threatening you. You know, that's the sign of an experienced person, a successful person. It's always the broke, dusty, dirty people without no profiles on their, you know, uh, Facebook page, you know, nothing on Instagram. Those are the people that you usually got to watch out for. You know, the the, 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 the the scary person that's always living under a rock. Oh, I, I'm afraid someone's going to work on me. And this and that. That's why I don't got no photos. This is who you got to be weary about. Because most of the time, these, you know, these closet, underground, so-called alleged spiritualists, these people are usually the ones that are trying to extort you. They're trying to blackmail you. When you choose to, or you want to go a direction on your own, you want to do your own thing, these are usually the people that's trying to cause you the most damage, you know? Like, listen, man, you know, listen, you got to be careful out here. I can't, you know, not stress this more than I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to stress this. Like, you know, you got to know who you're dealing with. If the person doesn't have a track record, nobody knows this individual, you don't go out there giving them information, personal information. What information do you have for this person? If you can't even send the person money through Western Union, or you can't even send them money through a PayPal, that's something that should be raising an eyebrow. You know, again, d desperate people do desperate things on both ends. When these people, when you say that, you know, you're leaving and depart, depart, departing from them, they start to get desperate because they realize that there's no other means for them to find money, you know, and they're relying on you to provide them with money, you know. So, you know, you have a payment plan. So even when you choose to decide or you decide that you don't want to work with these people and, you you know, the person says you still got a payment. But what if you don't want to work with the person? You know, these are things that, you know, I, you know, I want to talk to you guys out there. Let me talk to you spiritualists out there. You know, you're, uh, what they call this, uh, this guy a long time ago that I used to work with. It may be him, I don't know. But, you know, I used to work with this guy and I used to send him some clients and I realized this guy was a fake and a phony. And I want to talk to a lot of you guys out here. You fake spiritualists, fake woo guns, fake mambos, fake, you know, tatas, fake whatever. You know what I'm saying? What do you get out of ripping clients off? Well, you know, it's not even about ripping clients off. If you can't do something, that's one, that's one thing. But if you deliberately choose to basically go out there and try to be some extorter, you know, what do you get out of that? You know, see, the reason why you hate on me is because I do things legit. And people see they get results. And even if I'm not able to satisfy certain people, I give them a refund. That's why I'm where I'm at today. That's why I am where I am at today. You don't see me running around hiding behind profiles on Facebook. You don't see me going around talking, you know, all types of, you know, high-powered shit that I can't back up. You know, 
for you guys to talk a lot of shit about me, listen, and you, you, you know, and you're hiding under a rock, that says a lot about you. You know, you know, my, my, you know, look at your life and look at my life. The reason why I'm successful is because I'm out here. I'm not hiding behind a fake, fake name on YouTube. I put my name out there so you know who exactly I am. That is my real name, Leonard Elmira. I was born with that fucking name. So when I hear you guys coming up with these fake profiles, Tata, Ojimbu, Tata, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, what's your real name? What, do you got something to hide? You, got, you put these fake profiles up on Facebook, fake profiles up on Instagram, what are you hiding? You should be an example to the people coming to do work for you. Oh, I'm afraid someone else is going to try to do the work on me. For me, I don't have no fake profiles up because I'm not afraid of shit. If someone wants to do something, bring it. I'm here. Like we Haitians say, nous pas no pas pression. Nous pas no pression. We don't take impressions from people. We call you bluff.